Aaron, what stood out to you about Montgomery? Whew. Cutter again, a factor. Um, thought it, thought he had a really good one at times, um, and I thought he had a little bit of everything going again. You know, I, I feel like it's been that the last few times for him. His mix has been good. Uh, good changeup, breaking ball. Um, I thought he was on the attack really well. Um, you know, I, I I thought started to waver there a little bit in the sixth and the seventh. I think he I think he uh, he had to kind of find his legs a little bit, but was able to finish it. And uh, seven huge innings by him. You know, you know, I, I can say now. You know, we're it was it was going to be a struggle if we didn't get a little a lot of length out of him today and um that was just just what the doctor ordered and then obviously the offense was was terrific but Monty Monty was huge tonight Aaron do you think he know does he know that going in that that you're going to lean on him pretty heavily uh, once I took him out he he knew but um not something you want to lay on him early or tell him about you just go go pitch and uh but yeah I think he had a good idea he said all the right things this season, but we've spoken many times how he doesn't seem to get a, a ton of run support. Do you notice any difference in the way he attacks when he starts getting some runs on the board? You know, I, I mean, I think he went through a year last year and, and started this year where it was kind of just a little fluky and amazing just the, how little and, and it never seemed to bother him. You know, he's, you know, he gets pretty locked in in the games. <clears throat> um, he's a really good competitor. Um, and so, so I don't know, you know, you'd have to ask him now that he's got a couple outings where he's got a lot of run support to work with. If, if he likes that or gets on the attack, I remember the first time he got the runs, the other, was it last time or the time before and he came out and walked a batter right out after he got a, we threw a crooked number up there and I got on him a little bit, but, um, you know, I, 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 I'm sure the runs tonight helped him to just really go out there and even be a little more aggressive. Tyler. Tyler, could you just... As fragile as pitching is and as important as it is, what does it do for a manager when you can go into every game with pretty near certainty that your, that your starter is going to give you a realistic chance to win at a high level? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, every starter we run out there, you know, there is a confidence that they're going to go give us a really good chance to win. So that's there's some comfort in that. Um, and for us, it's been huge. You know, as as much as in that first month, as guys were getting built to lean on our bullpen like we did, to really have the ro in the rotation, they were throwing well. But you know, and, and now over the last month or month and a half, you know, they've been not only throwing well, but routinely getting deep in the game. So whoever it is taking their turn of those five guys right now, uh, I think myself, the staff, and, and certainly the players feel really confident that we have a good chance to win that day. And that's that's a good space to, to be in when you're coming to the park every day. Justin, to the right. Aaron, what's the energy like in the dugout as that many home runs are flying out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and when, you know, Judgey gets it going right away with the leadoff homer again, um, you know, that was big. A again, just just almost a perfect night out. You know, it's that starting to be that summer, Cubs in town, weekend, night, just, just a great environment to play in here in Yankee Stadium. And, uh, you know, you start hitting the ball out of the ballpark and everyone's chipping into it. Um, definitely makes for, for – for an energetic and, and fun night in the in the dugout. 